Hi, I'm uh, Mike from the Heavy Chef Project and as part of our ongoing campaign to try and make the businesses more profitable through digital, digital mediums, uh, we're here talking to Channel Mobile, the mobile specialists, um, to talk about how mobile can be used um, to benefit your business, to bring in more revenue or to, or to save you money. So I'd just like to introduce Rob first and Gavin from Channel Mobile, we're here to answer our questions. Um, I want to put a scenario to you guys. Let's say I'm a, a business, we, just, we, just, we can just make one up here. Let's say I'm a, a restaurant mm -hmm. um, and I've, I get a lot of business in the evenings and at the weekends. I'm slacking during the beginning part of the week and also we do a lot of catering services for the, for the film industry. Is there anything that I can do using mobile to help me to build that business up? Uh, yeah, Mike, there's, um, you know, there's a hell of a lot you can do with mobile. Um, start with, it's just a really efficient communication medium. When I say that, it means, I mean, it's just so easy to communicate with a lot of people very quickly. Um, it's obviously very cost effective. And um, yeah, it's direct. It's, and it's, it's and pretty much considered unobtrusive. So it's not like a phone call where you have to try and take it or ignore it or send it to voicemail. Yeah. Text message just comes in and sits in your inbox and uh, alerts you that it's there. And uh, you can read it whenever you need to. That's the great thing. I suppose we, we do the majority of our stuff around the web. You know, and someone has to be in front of a PC, or they have to be in front of their laptop. This is the mobile. I mean, it goes without saying, but everyone's got one. Mm -hmm. You know, so it does make it that much more that much more effective. Absolutely. It actually creates quite a nice two-way communication channel as well, because once you push the SMS out to the client, you can reply on it at any time, really. So it makes so it more personal. Yeah. Definitely. And interactive. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So coming back to the sort of the restaurant scenario, mm. um, I want to make more money. You know, I want to save save some money, or yeah. get money in quicker, or, or whatever it is. Maybe some examples of how I can do that. Yeah, well, the most obvious is, is is to really use it to to um, decrease your number of no shows. Obviously, in a business, um, in any business, not only restaurants, but no shows cost the business money. Um, you set aside time to to, to go to an appointment. Someone else has set aside time to make that appointment with you, and if, if your client doesn't arrive or you don't arrive, you, you're costing that other person time and money. Um, the same goes for a restaurant, and especially more so in a, in a restaurant because you rely on that income from those customers arriving uh, to make use of your uh, ordering of your menu, uh, ordering wine, etc., etc. If they don't pitch um, for their for their meal. You could have actually filled that seat with someone else who was going to. Yeah, I'm limited for my covers. You know, I've got 40 covers for that for that evening. One drops out. That's how many percent of, of less potential revenue that's going to happen. That exactly. So, so you can you could use the software just to SMS your entire seating list um, a couple of hours before uh, before you, you know the restaurant opens, just to make sure that they are going to arrive for their booking. Cool. I think on top of that, Mike, yeah. um, if you manage to buy like this, you can take it a step further as well, where if you're actually having quiet nights. Mm -hmm. And you know you've got a database of, of all your clients and all the rest, local ones in the area. You can just push out a quick SMS saying, "Hey, tonight we're having a, a one-night special. Um, pay for one, get a meal free." Mm. Can uh, increase the amount of seats you have. Yeah, uh, especially over winter. You look, you look at restaurants um, trying everything, everything to try and get some uh, some foot traffic. You only have to look around the city. Yeah. You know, at the moment, to see restaurants closing down Absolutely. and empty of an evening. And an opt-in database is, is a powerful tool. You've got, you've got people who've been to your restaurant before, who enjoy your food, enjoy your service, and enjoy being there. Um, collect their opt-in information on a database and, and you know, sort or filter on those people whenever you need to um, send out a special. I suppose you could do it at the end of your, the meal when they're filling out their, their form. You know, give them some sort of incentive um, to give you their to yeah. give you their SMS number or their cell number. Absolutely. Well, obviously on booking as well, you would, you would, you would um, capture their mobile number as well. Of course, of course. Yeah. Obviously, making sure that if you're collecting that data and you want to send it out, that you are sent permission. So we're not, we're not spamming things. So we don't come back. Yeah. So are you sending them information that's pertinent um, that they are interested in? Um, it's either about um, uh, making their their um, appointment, yeah, um, or about a, a, a special offer at a restaurant that they've eaten at before and that they enjoy going to. Fantastic. Any other ways? In which it, it could be used because I think that comes across as one of maybe the more obvious ways to be able to push out that information. We all receive those 
sort of specials, but anything else that could be useful, something different? Maybe? Yeah, I think uh, we can actually make it quite an interactive experience. Um, if you're doing an SMS to your clients, you can include a little URL in that actual SMS body, uh, and that can be a link to a Mobi site. So when the person gets it to their, to their phone, they can browse from there to the Mobi site, they can bring up your menu, your whole product listings, wow. the special location menu. of your restaurants, in case any directions. Yeah. Mm. That push technology there, or that, that sending of that SMS, could you, this is me maybe thinking of someone running my own business as well, knowing that I've got to chase invoices. I've got a huge problem with the restaurant trying to chase those invoices from these catering companies, from yeah. the production mm -hmm. companies. Could, could it work that way? Yeah, we, we have a lot of businesses using our software for ex just precisely that, um, debt collection. Um, you are able to send a message out to a lot of people uh, very quickly, reminding them of a raise amount. And I don't know about you, but when I receive an SMS about an arrears amount, I act on it. Uh, I know that that company is obviously onto me, so to speak, and uh, I need to I need to settle up. So um, businesses that use our software for that find it very successful. In fact, it's probably it's probably more um, in your face than a normal email, you know, because someone's chasing you down, you know, they're hunting you down for that. Yeah, moment. I know. They're they're just in their phone. It's like they've got phone number. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's very personal, and it's it's very direct. Excellent. Yeah. Anything else could be useful? Um, I was just thinking, in terms of, of account reminders and that, um, you can even tie up that SMS and again use another way to push SMS. So when the person gets the account reminder, you've got a link to a mobile panda cafe. Um, the person can browse there, you know, it's got his amount that he owes, puts his credit card details and can make a payment immediately. So, so, right? so he's got no excuse. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I remember it, but you guys are trying to chase us for money for anything. <laughs> I'm going to be hounding down like a dog. Yeah, it's, just, it's been basically facilitating uh, you know, different ways of different methods of payment and, and, and conveying different uh, pieces of information across. Just another another medium, and it's a medium that we use all the time, every day. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Just wanted to keep that nice, short, sharp, and simple. And I think that's some great tips as to how you can use use mobile to help make your business more profitable, not just to obviously generate more business, but to also help you to uh, save some money or get that money in. Mm -hmm. you know? And I would have thought it's quicker as well, some of those processes, it's going to save time, which is also a big factor in uh, increased profitability. So, Gavin, Rob, thanks very much. Pleasure, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm.